2014 was an important year for me. I graduated high school, Peter Parker graduated high school, and since this video isn't about Spider-Man, I better get back on track and talk about my favorite video game of that year. That was Watch Dogs. Most people called it a boring Grand Theft Auto clone, but I believe it was much more than that. Sure, you could drive around an open sandbox, shoot anyone you want, and get in trouble with the law, but it had more than that. It had hacking. Of course that was only a joke, even though it's also true, but it was a dark and beautiful drama about a damaged man doing whatever he could to avenge his family. Aiden Pierce is so memorable. He intrigued me so much I researched how to hack and realized it was so much more harder than what it was shown in the game. Yes, I was a gullible 18 year old who thought it was possible to hack with the click of a button. But to get back on track, once I finished the game, I had to have more Aiden Pierce, so I bought the tie-in novel to the game which I also loved. It was the first novel I read since grade school and it was the start of my reading journey. I was so excited to see what was to come next for Aiden's story. Where was he going to go next and why? I didn't find out until early 2016 that we weren't going to follow Aiden Pierce anymore and I was heartbroken. Apparently, Ubisoft felt Aiden Pierce was too boring of a character. Nobody wanted a dark story of revenge. They wanted a hip geek with a playful hip story of a hip dead sec taking over a hip San Francisco. Hip, right? Okay. Don't get me wrong, I did enjoy Watch Dogs 2. I do like Marcus Holloway and his pals, and I loved exploring San Francisco, but the heart felt lacking. The stakes were gone, the antagonist was boring, and the gameplay didn't feel as fluid. It didn't matter how beautiful the game was, the difference with the two games was playability. After I completed Watch Dogs 1, I spent I don't know how many hours afterward exploring and having fun. They even added really interesting side games where you could hallucinate and do crazy shit, like controlling a massive spider tank. Watch Dogs 2 didn't really have that. Once I completed the story, there wasn't really anything to do. I 100%ed the game and gained the platinum trophy after the story mode, and it didn't even feel rewarding. It felt weird. All jokes aside about them wanting Watch Dogs 2 to be hip, but I wasn't really lying. They changed the whole feeling of the game. It had no soul or heart. It was just focused on comedy and being cool, and I don't like that. To be honest, I hate it. The gameplay was lacking due to the weapons, and fighting in the game was just... vanilla. The weapons were boring, and none of them felt like they could really peck a punch. And don't even get me started on Watch Dogs Legion. I can't even go a few hours without deleting the game off my console. I feel terrible about it, but you know, it is what it is. I play the intro, and as soon as I can free roam, I just turn it off. It doesn't feel right. It feels wrong. I haven't built the courage to play the Aiden Pierce DLC yet, but I heard it was pretty good. Maybe I'll have to try that at some point. It's a shame though, honestly. This franchise had so much opportunity, and I feel it was wasted for laughs and cringe. And to have a cyberpunk ripoff. I'm scared it's lost its identity so much and so fast the franchise is gonna die. And that's not okay with me. What's so hard with Ubisoft making a serious story? Why do they insist on releasing games that are comedic clones of other games to the point where it feels all copy and paste? Not to mention, all of their games are about fighting back and a quote unquote rebellion of some sorts. But that's a topic for a different day. Sorry for the rant, I just had the first Watch Dogs pop up in my head and got really upset. Uh, how do you all feel about this subject? Do you all agree with me or am I reading too much into this? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you all don't care, please subscribe to the channel. It does help me out a lot. And if you all want to be even cooler than that, you can ring the bell at the bottom right hand corner. That way you get notified for each video I upload. It helps me tremendously and you all get like over 10,000 cool points. So, you know, you don't want to pass that up. But until next time, take it easy bubs.